Thematic analysis is a widely used qualitative research method that allows researchers to explore and understand complex phenomena within a given context. In health professions research, about half of the qualitative studies you'll find on PubMed use thematic analysis, so it's massively popular and for good reason. It provides a systematic approach to identify, analyze, and interpret patterns of meaning, referred to as themes, in textual data. I'm going to outline the steps you need to take to undertake a thematic analysis you can be proud of. I'll describe Brown and Clark's six-phase analysis approach and provide examples of its application in clinical education research. But I'm actually going to suggest an additional phase, phase 5.5, which can take your thematic analysis to the next level of awesome. Thematic analysis is a flexible and iterative approach that enables researchers to uncover meaningful patterns and interpretations within qualitative data. Its primary objective is to identify and report patterns of meaning or themes across a data set. This method is particularly valuable in exploring subjective experiences, perceptions, and interpretations of individuals. Brown and Clark's 2006 proposed a six-phase approach to conducting thematic analysis, which serves as a comprehensive guideline for researchers. So first, familiarization with the data. Researchers immerse themselves in the data by reading and rereading the material to gain familiarity with its content. This helps identify initial ideas and potential themes. The second phase is generating initial codes. Researchers assign labels or codes to segments of data that are relevant to the research question. These codes capture the key ideas or concepts or patterns within the data. Three, searching for themes. Researchers group related codes together to form potential themes. This process involves reviewing and organizing codes to identify overarching patterns and connections. Four, reviewing the themes. Researchers examine the generated themes, ensuring they reflect the data set accurately. Themes are refined and adjusted and their boundaries are clarified to create coherent and distinct patterns. Five, defining and naming these themes. Researchers develop clear definitions and concise names for each theme, capturing its essence and content. This step helps to establish a comprehensive thematic framework. And the final step is number six, producing the final report. This is where researchers analyze and interpret the themes in relation to the research question, providing rich descriptions and illustrative examples, so quotes usually. The final report presents a coherent and compelling narrative that reflects the underlying data. Now, I was sitting at a conference recently listening to a thematic analysis presentation when I realized that what impresses me and what I'm looking for in a thematic analysis is for the researcher to describe the connections that hold the themes together. And this is often conceptual. For example, I worked on a project where we explored perceptions of employees of, of a hospital in Saudi Arabia whose hospitals had gone through an accreditation process. We wanted to know what was the impact on quality of patient care and how did employees experience the accreditation process. We undertook a general purpose inductive qualitative study with thematic analysis. 20 managers participated in interviews, and the following interrelated themes emerged concerning the accreditation process and its impact on quality of patient care. These are drivers for the change, the plan for the change, the process of change, maintaining changes post-accreditation, and patients' issues with the change. Now, if we were to implement a phase 5.5 to Brown and Clark's approach for thematic analysis, then we might look for the glue that holds these themes together. Maybe it's intrinsic motivation. Maybe it's employees' values. Perhaps the underpinning theme is justice or equity. 
I'm not sure which metaphorical uh, metaphor to grab here in terms of the title of phase 5.5. It could be the glue that binds your themes or the basket within which the themes sit. In any case, thematic analysis is a valuable qualitative research method for exploring complex phenomena within healthcare. By following Brown and Clark's six-phase analysis approach, researchers can effectively identify and interpret meaningful themes in qualitative data. My provocation for you is to look for a phase 5.5. What is the basket that participants are really alerting you to? Have fun.